So in today's video, I'll be counting down the top 10 pairs of New Balance sneakers that you can buy right now. And of course, down below in the description, I'll link all the shoes mentioned in this video. Perfect. Coming in at number 10, we have the New Balance 550. This has literally been one of the most popular New Balance sneakers over the last few years as it was an answer to the Nike Dunk and a lot of the other retro basketball styles. Now this sneaker is a great option for anybody looking for that retro basketball design as it comes in great materials and also a reasonable price coming in at $150 and I'm pretty sure we've seen it all with this sneaker as far as colorways and also collaborations. If however you're looking for the complete opposite of what we just talked about, for number 9 I have the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V5 and this sneaker right here is not only one of the newest silhouettes out there, but it also is one of the most plush. I love the crazy cushion on these shoes. And speaking of crazy cushion, you guys stay tuned for the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on my feet. And that is coming in later on this video. But with that being said, let us get on to more about this X More V5. This is one of the most plush shoes that I ever put on my feet. And it even feels as if you're walking on a bunch of pillows. But with that being said, the most standout feature on this shoe is the two inches of Fresh Foam X that is located on the bottom of your heel. If you're literally just looking for max cushion, there you go. This shoe comes in for about $150. And for me, I'm personally guessing this is the most cushion that New Balance has ever put on a pair of sneakers. Coming in at number eight, we have the New Balance 530s. And this is the bread and butter of New Balances. It is a very good all around sneaker. It is very comfortable, affordable, and it fits that overall style of the New Balance sneakers. If you're looking for that classic retro runner New Balance aesthetic, this is a perfect option coming in at about $100, give or take. Number seven is the New Balance 2002R, and there are a plethora of different colors for this sneaker right here, of which you can find down below where I link them in the description. Now, the 2002R is primarily seen as a lifestyle sneaker, and this shoe does come with that Absorb midsole and also the Absorb SPS in the heel. But with that being said, this has a pretty soft underfoot, and also it is not too mushy and has a well padded upper. Now it still looks good in the modern era of sneakers and is very comfortable and for $145 you're getting a premium sneaker and man you guys stay tuned for the number one sneaker I have on this list as it may become my new everyday go to. Coming in at number six I have the New Balance 990 V4 and these come in for about $185. Boy ain't no way boy. <laughs> I did debate on putting the 990 V4 higher on this list as there are many bangers not to mention the Joe Fresh Goods collaboration but there are a bunch of different New Balance sneakers that did top this sneaker as you guys will see later on in this list. So the 990 V4 by name is a part of the highly coveted 990 series which is among the New Balance flagship sneakers and you would go for these sneakers if you do want that unparalleled material craftsmanship and also quality and of course comfort i think the 990 is pretty much a case of just pick and choose of whatever you pretty much like as between version and version is pretty much similar but if you are really big into collaborations the v4 is really nice because as i mentioned they had that joe fresh goods collaboration as well as kith and the list just goes on number five i have the new balance 1080 v13 this is a sneaker that new balance calls their flagship running sneakers and they even went as far as to say if they're only to release one running sneaker this would be the one that they would release and i've got to say all around this is a great running sneaker the new new balance 1080 v13 is the newest among the 1080 line and this features the newest technologies and you have a well padded upper which incorporates that engineered mesh which is incredibly breathable in fact this is probably one of the most plushest shoes on this list and in the midsole you do have that fresh foam which is incredibly soft underfoot and this is truly an everyday running sneaker that you can look good in and feel good at all times. When it comes to pricing, these come in at a pretty reasonable price coming in at $165, which is pretty good for a top of line running sneaker. And if looking for a sneaker that you can pretty much do all things in, this is a perfect option. For number four, we're gonna kick it off with the New Balance 327. This is one of my favorite sneakers from a couple years back. And I still think this is a great option to get as it comes in at a affordable price of $100 
and it is very easy to find at a bunch of different retailers. Number three, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V4. This sneaker is incredible to me as it did top my most comfortable sneakers of 2024. And I have tried new sneakers since then, but I still believe this is the most comfortable shoe of 2024. First of all, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V4 is incredibly light and it is a shoe you can basically just throw on and forget you're wearing. And when you just even look at the midsole, you see this super thin mesh, which ultimately is very breathable and adds to the comfortability. Then of course, the marquee feature of this sneaker right here is the very soft and thick midsole, which is very soft on the underfoot. And then you also do have a very responsive and springy feel on this sneaker. Last but not least, what's even wilder about this shoe is a price point, which is at about $140, which makes it among one of the cheapest sneakers on this list. Coming in at number two, we have the New Balance 9060s, which retail for $150. In terms of general aesthetic, this shoe is very chunky and gives you that futuristic design which is pretty much unique to this model and it is very comfortable with a nice collection of materials and I definitely recommend if you haven't tried a pair of these shoes, I definitely recommend it. Finally, at number one, I have the Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. New Balance 1906 R and these retail for about $155. The 2000s running vibe is definitely hitting right now in 2024 and I do believe that this will die down at some point but I do see these sneakers thriving in the future, even with the trend dying down. This 1906R is an updated version of the classic 1906, which was named after the founding of New Balance. But with that being said, this was pretty similar to the original 1906 and was made as a running sneaker. And although it may seem that this is a lifestyle sneaker, this can still be used for running. The upper of the shoe comes primarily in mesh, which is incredibly breathable. And you do have very soft padding around the ankle area and also around the tongue. The midsole comes in active with light cushioning and you also do have the SPS underneath your heel, which adds to that underfoot comfort. And although this technology is over 20 years old, this still gets the job done. Everything about this shoe is just different and well thought out. But with all that being said, that pretty much wraps up this list. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section below, whether you liked it or maybe if I missed anything in this video, let me know all those thoughts. But without further ado, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to see the best affordable options for back to school shopping, go ahead and click this video.